Your debt is like lavish. It's not right. lavish. Listen, listen, listen. All I said was that I have expensive things. That doesn't mean I live a lap of luxury. <laughs> if you had to rank yourself against others based on a specific trait, what would it say about how you see them and how they see you? To find out, we brought together five strangers and had them rank themselves based on their perceived debt. Then, we rearranged them based on their actual debt. This is ranking. Uh, my name is Dominic and I'm 29 years old and I'm a content creator. My name is Eric and I'm in nursing school. I'm Della. I'm gonna graduate school in two weeks. Oh, wow. yeah. oh. Congrats. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Atavia. I'm a digital creator slash social media manager slash whatever I feel like doing, honestly. <laughs> I'm Lola and I work in mental health care. Okay. 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 What type of debt is there that we been talking about? Like, I assume credit card, credit student card, loans, yeah. housing, housing, car. Yeah, I mean, it's personal, personal loans. loans. Yeah, I can start. So <laughs> pretty much, I found myself in debt. I'm in nursing school. I kind of just had to get student loans. What about you guys? Car, some student debt, and then credit cards. I just got my first car. car. Personal loan and credit cards and stuff like that. Actually, I was really worried that I was gonna have the most debt because. I have a lot of embarrassment about my debt. I have more student loans and like medical debt. I, don't, I have like a decent amount. Definitely like house. Yeah, mostly house and student loans. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm like the only one that has no student loan debt. And it's throwing me off. This car is gonna be like a Rolls Royce. <laughs> no, 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 it's not a Rolls I just have like a, it's a Prius. Hybrid. Yeah, it's a hybrid. Oh, those are expensive. I don't have that much personal debt. I was okay. I was born with a cleft oh, lip, cleft palate. Mm -hmm. So I've had like seven surgeries. The two more recent ones were like a double jaw surgery and a rhinoplasty. And the insurance didn't cover it that time. So, Jeez. so it came out of, oh my God. Yeah. And it still isn't oh that gosh. great because I still can't breathe that well. Okay. So I actually need to have another surgery for my nose. Damn. Yeah. Damn. It's kind of like, it sucks that we have so much medical debt, and especially since I couldn't really like, I can't really help the way I was born. I don't know. It was hard talking about it a little bit, but it, was, it kind of felt like therapeutic in a way. Yeah. Do you guys have any kind of expense that was kind of excessive for you? I'm not really much of a splurger. I always give like a percentage to oh, my wow. dad. Good for you. <laughs> I just have like really expensive taste. The things that I like that are just higher end. Uh. It's really annoying. I definitely have gotten so much better. Like I'm no longer accumulating more debt. Have you been paying it you? all? I haven't. <laughs> I'm, I'm like working on it. Most of my debt is not from, everything is a necessity. I never had any unwanted Purchases. Okay, but wants and necessities are different. Do you have a car that's paid off? I have a car that's paid off. Okay. okay. Um, okay. Do you own a house? No, I don't own a house. How many homes do you own? Personally, I own one. Okay. I own land, but I own one home, yeah. Okay. okay. If you were already in a lot of debt, why did you buy a house? Like I was okay. gonna put that money in rent. Okay, so that, it was an investment. Like you're not living in that house that you own? I bought that house cash. Right, oh, so yeah. you don't, wait, what? I specifically bought the house in cash, pulled out loans so I can invest in other property so that way I can like actually make more money. I mean, how, how is like the, like, the loans and all that kind of affected all of you, yeah. like mentally. For me, it's an everyday thing. Like I'm already stressed out. I'm just like, man, nursing school is hard. Like I took out all this loan and if I fail, I'm gonna owe this money for nothing. And I just, you know, that scares the living hell out of me. Mm. I can feel my mental stability like going down. Like I am being more harsh on myself. So I'm just like stressed out all the time, 24 seven. I feel like I found myself in a lot of debt because I was not taking care of my mental health. So like, I was really, really relying on like retail therapy. Mm -hmm. It made my mental health even worse. You know, you hear debt, you think, oh, they have like a terrible spending habit or something. I was just like buying food for myself and trying to pay for my rent and stuff. It was just like trying to live a normal life. I'm just like, damn, I want to move on, but I still have debt, so right. what can I do? Yeah. And it's hard to get out sucks. of relying it, on it. It is, it is. Know? I'm also someone who has anxiety with a lot of jobs. So like, people are always like, you have to work, 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 and work your butt off and then you can spend that money, but that's not realistic for everyone. My, my debt is um, 
So for school, I have like bad anxiety. I couldn't at that time drive far from my house. Mm -hmm. I, I still can't really go in elevators. So I had to pick the closest college to me, which happened to be an expensive college. Uh, I think like my anxiety was just so bad that like I look at debt or anything money related as just like such a non-issue. I, mean, I definitely though have like a thing where like my girlfriend's always upset. She's like, oh, you're all always working. Because of my anxiety, I can't really work a normal job. I do, uh, me too, yeah. actually. Like I work as much overtime as I can. I just keep like having like anxiety, like thinking I can't pay it off. I don't know what to do at half the time. Mm. My family, we don't really come from money. And so even now they kind of have like that mentality where they like, they get scared about um, not being able to pay something. And sometimes you do need to go into debt and it sucks, but it's sometimes that, that's just how it is. I feel like you're in a lot of debt just because medical expenses are really expensive. expensive. Actually, yeah. mainly student. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That's a just throw me off. But then also like house stuff is really expensive yeah. as well. So I feel like you too. Yeah. No, I definitely yeah. think yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I'm gonna. I'll move. I went to community college. Like that's not that bad. I feel sense. like you guys should. I switch. think you should be in the third. Yeah, I think Nursing so. school I, is pretty expensive. Yeah. And I, Why I, are you in the front? I, I don't know. <laughs> but your your debt is like lavish. It's not. Right. Listen. All I said was that I have expensive things. That doesn't mean I live in a lap of luxury. <laughs> Where do you guys shop for groceries? Stater Bros. That's expensive. Stater Bros? Yes. Okay. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's? Trader Joe's I mean, is more expensive bad. than Stater Bros. No. no. Um, I didn't say Whole Foods, guys. Bonds or Ralph's? Bonds or Ralph's. I shop at Walmart for my clothes. I feel like you should be at the end. Thank I think you, you should and be at the end. end. I agree. You seem like pretty well off, to be honest. Like, well, not too well <laughs> off. Not too well off. Okay I'm okay, okay with that, guys. Do we agree that he would be the most then? Because he did go to nursing school. And keep in mind, this is just the second so you're gonna be in the most. Like yeah, eventually, yeah. catch me in four years, then I'll be here. I'm just kidding. I thought yours would be more, but when you said that, yeah, your medical isn't as expensive as your school, because school on the top end, it's a lot, but it's like I don't think it'd be that much if medical's lower. Right, right, right. Yeah. Do you feel like you should be where you are? I think you yeah, should be higher than I am. Okay. okay. I think this actually this is good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're locking it. Locking Lock yeah. in the answer, guys. Okay. Hey good humans, Milky here. I don't know about you, but I'm always looking for ways to live a more eco-friendly lifestyle. So I wanna give a big thank you to today's sponsor, Lomi. Lomi is a revolutionary appliance that turns food waste, organic waste, and Lomi approved bioplastics into nutrient rich dirt. It's super easy to use and its sleek modern design makes it a beautiful addition to your kitchen. So let's make some dirt. To use the Lomi, all you have to do is fill it with food waste like scraps and push the button to let Lomi work its magic and break down your waste. There are three cycle settings to help you tailor your waste and turn it into nutrient-rich dirt. And it is especially great for plant parents like myself for your at-home garden and plants. Using Lomi twice a week can reduce your waste footprint by 50%, making it easier than ever to make a positive impact on the environment. Be sure to check out the link in the description to buy yours today. Now, let's get back into the video. So in fifth, we have Tavia with 23,000. Ooh, we got that right. I was expecting the person at the bottom to be like 2K. We're here for a reason. <laughs> they asked for debt. I mean. And fourth, we have Lola. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Wait, hold on. With 24,622. Oh, we're pretty close. And third, we have Della with 37,000. Wow. Correct. Yeah. Hold on. In second, we have Eris with 42,000. Damn. Yeah. In first, we have Dominic with. Oh. <laughs> I just got chills along my entire. Bro, I thought Are like you okay? two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but my student loans are, are more than all of yours. Like my student oh, loans student? is almost four hundred thousand dollars. Oh, I went to Chapman. Oh, oh. wait, wait. How did we get? He Chapman. was sliding by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was. I think I'm no longer stressed after hearing $2 million. Yeah, like, I'm good. I, you know what, I, <laughs> I know they felt better about their debt after hearing mine, but there's definitely different types of debt. I pulled a loan out on my house. That's the kind of good debt that I'm not worried about. Medical debt, you can run away from a lot easier. Definitely have student loan debt. You know, you can kind of consider it as like a, a bad type of 
of debt because it's something that's not gonna make you any money uh, by itself. Credit card debt, I would say, is like one of the worst debt to have. The interest is just so high that it can really catch up and destroy you. No, I, I still am stressed out about my debt. Like anytime I talk about it, I just get like really nervous and anxious and like, I mean, because it's taboo to be poor. Talking about how much you earn, like that's taboo as well. Automatically people assign worth and value to that person when it's not the same. For a while, I was very against debt and I would miss everything my friends did because they grew up with money. Their parents brought them cars in high school. I would have to stay home because I couldn't afford it. And that's when my mindset changed. I'm like, I'm in my 20s, I have to do stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, let me start swiping and live a little bit of my life. Yeah. That's, yeah, definitely a lot of people see Oh, you have debt, you're irresponsible. Right. And I'm just like, dude, everyone in med school, everyone at pharmacy, right. yeah, so like everyone people. that's like in the healthcare is owing sure. money. I think yeah. everyone, there's a lot everyone. of debt. I don't think debt really surprises me anymore. Like knowing that a lot of millionaires and billionaires use debt to their advantage, and yet still lower class people are made to feel like it's a bad thing. I've been using it just to live a normal life and that would be my advantage. That's, it's no different. So I don't think I need to feel bad about it anymore. I was so integrated into learning everything about money, which is why I am where I am today. It's not hard work or anything. It really is just the privilege of learning. Be smart, like no, if you can pay it off. But if you have a vision and if you have a plan to succeed, taking debt is okay. Get credit cards. No, I'm kidding. Do not do that. Don't get a credit card. Like, just don't. Go swipe your credit card. Live your life. <laughs> Thank you.